How's it going, people? I got the dive gear with me again, but this time, I got no fishing rods. I'm gonna pop the drone up and head over to the other side of the lake, but I'm not going for any fish. I'm actually gonna be hunting for crawfish, crayfish. It's an invasive species of crayfish that many people call like freshwater lobster. It's called rusty crayfish. They're from Europe or something, but they got through the St. Lawrence, all the Great Lakes, and now they're kind of everywhere in Michigan, and they're giant giant crayfish. The other side of the lake has a bunch of laydowns and sticks and stumps under the water and these crayfish like to hide under those so I'm going to put the gear on, go underwater and see how many I can catch and then try to cook them up and eat them because I've heard they're delicious. Obviously setting a trap something like that is going to be a lot more efficient but grabbing with your hands just sounds way more fun.
Now that was freaking awesome. I thought eating them was gonna be the fun part. Saw a bunch of those rusty crayfish, the ones I caught, these guys right here. A couple just giant ones, and I got that lure, that was pretty cool. But again, these are invasive species, guys. The Michigan DNR three years ago, I think it was in 2014, they allowed you to start keeping these rusty crayfish. Now, a vast majority of people just set out traps. Had I set a trap overnight, maybe two, three days, uh, I might have hundreds of these things. I think that's typically what people get is hundreds for a crawfish boil. But I probably only got like maybe 20. So these guys are gonna be tasty. I think they're all caught up in that old lure and line, but I couldn't just leave that in the water. So all these crayfish are in there. I'm gonna put these in the live well, recirc the water, and then tomorrow, I'm either going back home to Chicago tomorrow or the next day. I think I'm just gonna keep them in this live well until then like refresh the water every day or so so when you guys see me next i'm going to be cooking these crawdads all right guys so i have made it back home to chicago this is actually my old house i'm sure some of you recognize my previous house from some of my other videos i moved back into my old house haven't been here since fourth grade you guys are going to see more of this in other videos but more importantly i'm home and i think my little mud bugs made it oh yeah water is a little murky now they they made it all the way the live well I put them in there yesterday oh they're still good to go now I think this segment of the video the whole cooking and eating them is gonna make a lot of people cringe because I'm the farthest thing from Cajun and the farthest thing from Southern I've never had a crawfish boil I've never I've eaten crawfish before in Cajun dishes like jambalaya and stuff like that but I've never had a true crawfish boil so so my knowledge on how to purge them and cook them is basically the Google article that looked the most true to me. So I looked at a bunch of them. Some of them said to purge your crawfish, like take them out of the water and dump a bunch of salt on them and then put a little more water on them. But I saw a lot of articles say that the salt actually kills them. So these crawfish came from a pretty clean lake. All I'm gonna do, again, I don't have another bucket and I'm gonna be a wimp and, and grab them with the, with the gloves so they don't pinch my fingers, but. The box for the bed I slept in in my truck about half the time. I'm just gonna put all the crawfish in here and then purge them out with some water. I'm just gonna keep dumping water in here. And there's little holes in the bottom of the box which is actually gonna help. Cause I think the water's gonna get cleaner the more I rinse these, these crawfish out. Cause I'm still they got like some mud and, and stuff in their veins still, their, their poop vein, the poop shoot, the vein, whatever the hell they got going on. So I'm gonna throw the crawfish in here and just dump a bunch of water in them and get the boiling ready. So this is one of the bigger ones. Again, these are invasive crayfish that really kick out the native crayfish. These are fish with much bigger claws. They call them freshwater lobsters because they got those big tails, huge claws, and they totally destroy ecosystems in which they're introduced in. They kick out all the native crawfish. Basically every stump I searched for these under had them. So this is kind of a bigger one. I have some bigger ones, but this is really the average size of these rusty invasive crayfish. Now, I'm not sure if I said this before, but if you're cringing at my process, how I'm going to cook them. By the way, how I'm going to cook them, I just got went to the grocery store. This looks like it's going to do the job. That, that looks like it fits the bill. Crawfish boil, seasoning in one. Got some lemon juice too the, with that recipe online, what it said, and some garlic. Because I'm not going to do like potatoes, corn, that whole big boil. I don't have enough crayfish for that. I'm sure this is exactly how they do it in Cajun country. You get an old arrowbed box, dump some hose water in there. Oh, well this is nice. This makes it easy for me. It's just a bag. Okay, now per the Z... See, I don't even know how to say the Zatarains. I'm probably butchering that too. I am so not Cajun, it's, it's not even funny. So per this recipe, three quarts of water, I got that in there. One bag, I can do that. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and then one lemon. So I'm gonna judge one lemon. Now I like lemon, so Probably about one lemon. These things might turn out a little over seasoned because the bag and three quarts of water are for four pounds of crawfish and I definitely don't have four pounds of crawfish. So we're just gonna roll with it. So the lemon was sealed, but the garlic was not. Hey mom, the kitchen might smell like garlic for a little bit here. Okay. So it said basically just bring this to a boil, throw the crawfish in there, let them boil for two to three minutes, and then turn the heat off to let it just simmer in, in all the juices and spices and stuff. 
All right, I got the water to a rolling boil. Time to add the little bugs. All right, so these little mud bugs are done boiling. Look at how red they turn. Turns so red. I know that's from like a chemical reaction or something. It's some compound in them that makes them turn red. But I'm gonna let these sit for about 20 minutes now. And oh my God, I, I might have overspiced it because this scent is just attacking my nostrils. But again, I don't know. I've never had a crawfish boil. We shall see in 20 minutes. All right, these should be good. Now again, I have no idea how to eat these either, so there's probably gonna be some cringing at this part too. How, how should I attack these? I think I saw online you, you separate the head from the body that's supposed to come off. Uh, it's not coming off as easy as I thought. There it goes. Okay. Well, that looks kind of gross. Is it, is it kind of like the whole muscle deal? Like, muscles look gross, but they taste good. I should just go right in for it, shouldn't I? Wow, I'm an amateur. I need someone with me that knows what they're doing. Come on, there's a good tail of meat in there. I just need to know how to get to it. All right, for the next one, I'm actually gonna learn what better way to learn how to do something than watch a YouTube video. Because I am such an amateur, it's not even funny. You know, that's that's how it looked in the restaurant when I had it. Oh! Oh my God! Wow! Wow, those are good. All right, next time I'm going up there, I'm setting traps. These are really good, oh my God. I had no idea these would be that good. It tastes just like shrimp, They're like mini lobster. And I know I didn't do it right. I'm sure these can be even better. How to eat a crawfish. Two million views, this should be legit. They got some Cajun music playing in the background. I like it. Got it now. My way is working somehow. All right, well, I'm gonna struggle my way through through eating the rest of these. I'm, I'm done making you guys cringe at how I'm eating these. The main thing to take away is these things are freaking delicious and this what the way I did it was not the right way to do it I did it the more fun way catching them by hand is more fun than putting a pot down and more entertaining to watch but if you put pots down in areas with these rusty crayfish I know you can get hundreds and let me tell you these things taste amazing they're they're basically like shrimp or anything like that like I would for sure order these at a restaurant now we need to go down to, to Cajun country that's not even a Cajun accent now I need to go down to Louisiana and get some get some real crawfish because I probably botched this and it's still delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more catch and cook videos, more underwater videos, more fishing videos, you let me know. I'll try my best to do them. Again, if you guys have any tips for me on eating crawfish or cooking them, anything like that, please share because I really, really need them.